Okay, so this is a uh, Monday night, and I figured I'd do another video. Um, I got a larger water from the uh, neighbor. So instead of this uh, little mason jar, which needed to be filled up like three or four times a day, um, now they have this gallon one. So hopefully maybe twice a day, depending on how messy they make all this stuff. Um, but all the ducks are definitely looking bit bigger. Um, I'm trying to get them to clear out this food, uh, cause this food's probably been in there since they, you know, first started. So I'm opening it up, hopefully they can clear it out and then I can put some fresh food in there. Um, but everyone's doing good. Um, I'll probably put in a water dish every day so that they can dunk their heads, cause apparently they need to like flush out their noses or nostrils every once in a while, so they probably need something to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like they've doubled in size in like a week, and I guess apparently they can grow 20% a day or so for the first, uh, you know, month or so. Um, but yeah, they're still getting food from the, uh, tray. And then she'll take it over to the water and kind of mush it up like they're doing. So hopefully uh, this will let them eat a lot more and they can grow even faster than what they've been doing. <laughs> and it seems like they're not as afraid of me anymore. Like I can, you know, hover over them and they don't really care. Um, but yeah, so every, every day I'm just... Uh, Taking out that water right there, uh, that styrofoam tray. Uh, I guess if you get ducks, the larger that tray underneath, the better, because that'll just help you, you know, clear all that water instead of going in those pine shavings or whatnot. So that's my only advice, and then a big water because they need it. But hopefully on the weekend I'll be able to get them outside and they can make a mess outside for a while. So that's it for today. I'll do a few more this week. Let me know if you have any questions or anything.